here are a few secrets that no one is telling you about the products that you use to lose weight. What you may not know is that they may actually be causing you to store fat, and in the end, that certainly is not what your goal is. Personal trainer and weight loss specialist Lisa Lynn is here to try to help us out just a little bit. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me back. You know what? People, I think, have to really learn how to read the labels on these products because uh, these are some of the best pitch folks I have there. to say, it is making me so frustrated because I have been there where I was overweight and if you said take this, do that, I spent, of I did, and in the end all I did was waste my money. And, and I am a supplement manufacturer and I can tell you need an eighth of, maybe an eighth of what you're taking. Yeah. Simple. Okay, so are we going to talk, talk about yeah, the things you need, Yeah, what brings me right? here today is that the FDA decided this week that this new product right here, uh, it's supposed to say HCG, but my little prop system messed up um, because they decided that it doesn't work. It's, it's a long story about what it is, but the bottom line is you take this supplement, you could take an injectable, you could take mm -hmm. pill, supplement, um, with a 500 calorie diet. Which one do you think works? The injection to, you know, get rid of the fat or the 500 calorie diet? Mm. And it's seventy dollars an ounce, and I know so many people out there vulnerable, spending money because they just want to feel right. better. But you know what? You got to move, and you got to eat your greens. That will make you feel mm -hmm. better, and you'll never need that. Stuff. Right? H C G. Yep. yep. Okay. And it, it is from, believe it or not, it's from the embryos make these this little derivative. Mm -hmm. And it and there's no known. It, not only does it not work. They couldn't find one study that said that it did what it was supposed to. So you're following 500 calories. You're starving. No breakfast, by the way. Which I love low-calorie diets. You and I talk. Sure. That's real-world right, weight loss. Right, right. But the fact is 500 with no breakfast, not good for your well, health. Well, and as you and I both know, not only is it not good for your health, but you can't maintain that. You Eventually can. you get panic-stricken and you eat whatever is in front of you. And I see it repel and go back the other way, where at yeah. least you could do a good protein shake for breakfast. That's a good medium right. area. And it's going to keep you satisfied so you're not eating whatever doesn't run away. Okay. So save your money, do your research, consult with a professional, and mm -hmm. if they want to sell you 20 bottles, run the other way. Yeah, right. it's never good. This okay, is, what this is the here? big bad boy where mm -hmm. I live off these. You and right. I have this chat protein bars. Right. They're a conspiracy, by the way. They marketers can put whatever they want on the label, by the way. So you really got to know it's all about sales. These little late claims that we put here on the label are what sell them off the shelf. To sure. Us. Having said that, a protein bar should have at least as much protein as it does carbs. Almost every one that I found, and, and I'm not going to say the name brand, but they should, if it has 15 or 25 carbs, it better have that much protein. You find minimal protein. You find one, this one has 30 carbs. It does have 30 grams of protein, so I, it's commendable, but 10 grams of fat. Mm. Your budget as a woman is 15 per day. Yeah, that's way too much. This is a snack. Who thinks you're spending it, 10? No, exactly. From a right. bad source, artery clogging, soy proteins, in, inferior sources, which really, to be honest, it motivated me to make my own bar, not even for profits, mm. but because... There's so much junk out there, I made them for my own personal use. So let's remember, everybody, you have to have as many grams of protein as carbs, but watch the fat because that's where it I starts to add up. I say aim for five grams and under fat, five grams of fiber, and look for at least 15 grams of protein because it's a snack. Right, it's a snack. Here's the other one, and I'm going to say that I love these meals. My kids think this is our version of fast food, by mm -hmm. the way. Both are supposed to help you lose weight, and they do because they're portion controlled. Yes. So anything you eat out of a box is going to be better than a restaurant meal or something you're not weighing and measuring. But what if your carbs are supposed to be 100 grams to lose belly fat? Mm -hmm. This meal has 71. And I'll be honest, I found this in my freezer to go get the prop, and my jaw was on the floor. Mm -hmm. 71 grams, 9 grams of fat again. Mm. Um, so you do these two dietary healthy changes. You got 18 grams, you're supposed to do 15 right. per day. Now you're not going to burn fat. You're actually going into the fat storage, so know your numbers. I suggest keeping meals to 300 and under, 5 grams of fat and under, and that's whether you cook it, make it, or eat it out of a box. Right. Um, and keeping your carbs at 30 max per meal. Because you really want to be at 75 carbs a day if you really want to lose belly fat. Okay, so 75 carbs a day if you want to lose around your waist, and I don't know too many people who don't right. if you're looking to lose weight. Right, at least weight. keep it good. Right, let's keep it under 300 calories per meal, right. right? And how many grams of fat? I would say five and under. You really want 15 per day, so if you splurge and ate one with nine, run your numbers. you got four left. Yeah, you got to eat broccoli. 
Yeah, I love that <laughs> stuff. Thank God. <laughs> okay, here's the great part. Lisa is going to stay, and she's going to answer some of our yes. questions coming up in the next hour. And if you need to get hold of her, it's lisalynnfitness.com. And I'm happy to help with this. It's confusing. It is confusing, but if you have some questions, especially about what we post today, please feel free to go ahead and send your questions, and we'll check in again with her in just a couple seconds. Thanks.